Hi coaches, Stan Swiefel, the head football coach at the University of Dubuque. I'll be talking today about a series of drills we do for quarterback movement. I'll highlight uh, things we do. We do it on an everyday basis. It's kind of an agility thing for our quarterbacks, a change of direction for our quarterbacks, and also some movement skills. So it's a tremendous uh, drill that you can multitask a lot of different things that a quarterback has to do. And it can be done in about three to five minutes. You can extend it. But we have here uh, uh, in spring ball, we've got uh, eight quarterbacks. In fall camp, we sometimes have 13. So you're looking for a drill that can give you a maximum amount of repetition and maximum amount of efficiency. And this is one we've developed over probably about 35 to 37 years of coaching quarterbacks. Coaches, let's ex explain the first drill. It's really kind of stolen from a running back drill where we're going to have the quarterback step one foot in the hole every time. If you could just emphasize here, man, if you look what I'm doing with the ball carriage, uh, good movement between the armpits, and then what that one foot in the hole is to do, coach, is to keep their feet underneath their armpits. I'm talking about here being loose in the shoulders, I'm talking here about keeping your feet underneath your armpits, always in that ready position to throw. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we kind of stole these drills from a series of different things we've done with either running backs or uh, other types of uh, position drills where they're doing some movement. Uh, the second one now be two in the hole. And again, you can see the big emphasis is on the upper body carriage. And then again, if you just look as you watch us do these drills, everyone is to accentuate the feet underneath the armpit. Here's a great one for close quarter movement. Quarterback being able to take uh, short steps, being able to adjust. Uh, we always tell the quarterback we never want to scramble out. We want to stay inside and be able to move up and laterally without taking ever big steps to, first of all, take a big sack, or number two, to not have your feet in position. Here's a little bit of an extension of that same drill. Now I'm having the guy move up and back, very specific movements to the quarterback that he'll make when he's going up in the pocket. So again, working really hard on arm carriage, eyes up, feet always underneath the armpits, being able to move in close quarters. So those three or four warm-up drills you get right there, they're great. Now this is what we call pitter-patters, and this is just to accelerate the quarterback's feet, being able to move, uh, quickness, and then also again, everything I do accentuates having those balls of the feet underneath their armpits in ready position. You can see I really coach the upper body with carriage, allowing that quarterback to go back, and as he drops back to stay flexible and put the ball in a throwing position. Now here's one to develop rhythm. We've kind of taken this ourselves. It's a, we kind of looked at some things in tape and thought this might be a great way to really teach the rhythm of the three and five step drop, putting that quarterback in position that when he comes to the end of his drop, his feet are underneath him. And again, you can see him I'm trying to develop some quickness. And again, don't let the athlete go too far or too wide over the bag. 